Good morning, everybody. Michael Jordan filling in for Bill Edwards. And if uh, you grew up in my generation, you definitely know that music. Top Gun. Mm -hmm. uh, sad day as we mourn the passing of the director, Tony Scott. Uh, we'll talk to our own Stratton Leopold, our local Hollywood connection, uh, who knew this gentleman and uh, knows his family uh, in just a minute. We're going to take a real quick call uh, before we go to Stratton. I've got a friend, Michael Fleming, who's holding and has to meet somebody in about one minute. <laughs> Michael, we've been talking about the nuclear ship Savannah. I have film footage of that ship coming up the river 50 years ago, and you were on one of the little boats that was going around the ship when it came up the river in uh, 1962. Yeah, it was... Um quite a day, and I really do appreciate you pulling out for history, and it gives me an exact thrill to just see the footage of it. Uh, the U.S. Coast Guard and the Coast Guard Auxiliary Division here in Savannah gather a lot of their auxiliarists and, and different people to somewhere patrol the river, and they got all of their friends out with their boats and what have you to escort this beautiful almost like a huge yacht with this small ship come up the river. In Mary Maley's article a couple of weeks ago when I was reading that, uh, it sends chills up my spine just thinking about how much fun it was seeing everybody enjoy watching the ship come up the river. Mm -hmm. but, the but the excitement was also on shore, and that's what was so unique about the... Um, footage that you uh, showed me, I did not realize how many people were standing on top of City Hall and the other mm -hmm. buildings coming up the river, up at, at River Street. Where were you at the time? My father was in the Coast Guard Auxiliary, and he was part of the group that uh, was organized to escort the boat, and literally, uh, just like in your footage, I could see my father's boat up under the bow of the NS Savannah coming up the river. It was magnificent. And what was the name of your dad's boat? It was called the Sand Sheet. The Sand Sheet? S-A-N-S-H-I, Sand Sheet. Yes, sand Sheet, sheet. okay. Well, Michael, you and I have talked about this many times over the years, and I really appreciate you calling in today, and I hope more people will uh, will call in and it, it will come out tomorrow as we observe the 50th anniversary of this special day. Five o'clock tomorrow at the Trade Center. I know you've got to meet somebody 40 seconds ago, and I've got somebody who's uh, supposed to call in who's holding on the other line, so I've got to let you go. But thank you so much for your memories and for helping us keep the story alive. And, Michael, thank you so much for everything you do, reminiscing the history. We sure do appreciate you. Thank you much, Michael. Yeah, you are a great documentary filmmaker. We appreciate Michael that. calling and uh, kind of switching gears a little bit. Yeah. Although he has something related to this. Well, yeah, Stratton Leopold is, uh, our, of course, the, uh, the proprietor of Leopold's Ice Cream, a great family business with deep Savannah roots, and also a Hollywood producer. Stratton, I, sorry to make you wait. I appreciate your patience. Perfectly fine. Perfectly um, fine, Michael. Do you want to talk about the Savannah first since we were on that and then talk sure. about yeah, the, yeah, the Hollywood yeah. news? I, mean, I finally remember it. I was work, I had a summer job. I was working in a building where, where the hotel is now, the, um, which is right next to uh, the Hyatt. And I, I was on like the top floor, and here it comes. It was magnificent. It was it was an amazing experience. What did the ship look like? It, it was it just to, to a kid. I was what I, I, I was eighteen or so. It was just a sleek, futuristic, wonderful looking white ship. It was incredible. It didn't have a smokestack. I remember that. And people <laughs> people don't realize what a big deal that was because it's soot huge. was so much a part of the ocean going experience for cruisers back in those days. And sure. I remember the brochures would say "soot free shuffleboard," uh, you know, <laughs> mm -hmm. on the veranda. Um, do you think Savannah has what it takes to be a home for the Savannah as a museum ship? I would think so because we, we have such a large number of tourists that come in annually now, I would think it would be a great addition, frankly. I mean, uh, 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 other cities have the aircraft carriers, the, the battleships, what have you. It would be great to have it. Well, Stratton, I agree with you, uh, and uh, hopefully one day we'll get to see that. But, uh, you know, yeah. speaking of aircraft carriers, uh, oh, Top some, Gun. Yeah, some yeah. of the biggest movies of, of my life, movies like Top Gun and Crimson Tide, also Beverly Hills Cop 2 and, and Days of Thunder. Days of Thunder. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, these are all associated and, with Tony Scott. And Last Boy Scout, I mean, which wasn't as successful, but a good picture. 
What kind of person was Tony Scott? Tony Scott was, oh goodness, he was just a workaholic, a really jovial guy. He and Ridley both, just uh, lovely people, um, intense filmmakers, very exacting filmmakers. I think Tony prob- probably it was, w- w- was tops there. Um, just in, fa- in fact, I, I, just, I just read that Ridley um, was shooting, uh, what, Counselor, I think, in London, and he's back in Los Angeles now, which is understandable. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's interesting. Uh, I've seen a lot of mention from, like, especially uh, actors and directors. I've talked to friends out, out there, and people can't figure it out. You know, the whole thing about cancer, which now, now they're saying no to that. It wasn't that. But, now, but people that I've spoken to that, that really are on the ground there don't know why he did it. And what we're talking about, because I know we, we didn't really give the facts oh, right. before we took, went into the call, Tony Scott uh, leapt to his death Yes, uh, just a couple of days ago. So At Terminal Island. I've, I've filmed on that bridge, actually, before. Well, and, and now, you know, we're hearing that people were there and saw it, so yes. there's all these accounts of it. Um, you know, I, I was all prepared to talk about when... When is it okay to end suffering? But that, that's not even a question now if cancer isn't part of the story. Now it's just another... Why? St- why did this exactly. even happen? Exactly, and, and that's what I'm hearing. Well, it, it, I tell you, I'm, I'm really I'm appreciative of your call because this, uh, you know, oftentimes we hear about the famous and we don't feel a connection to them, but these movies uh, made a difference in mm-hmm. my life sure. and are such a part of my past, and, yeah, and you was, bring it home. Soul. He was... Uh, Really wonderful filmmaker, wonderful man. Well, we're sorry for the loss of your friend. And yesterday, I saw some photos of Tom Cruise. He just looked crushed as yeah. well. Well, well. well, he and Tom were scouting. They were they were thinking oh, they were trying to put no. together Top Gun too. Oh. Well, hopefully, uh, we'll hear more facts that will make some yeah. of this make just a little bit more sense. And uh, and if it's okay with you, uh, you know, I'll help Laura get in touch with you later sure. as as we Definitely. move down the road. Definitely. Stratton, thank you so much, and I hope to see you tomorrow afternoon at 5, too. I'll see you there. And by the way, congratulations on the 93rd anniversary of Leopold's Ice Cream. Oh, my goodness. It was phenomenal. It was. (laughs) Like between 4,000 people or or more. Thank you, Savannah. And the caramel swirl. Oh, Oh. delicious. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) Thanks a lot, Stratton. It's good to talk to you. Thank you. Bye. News Radio 1290 WTKS with local news first.